Live from downtown San Antonio, you're watching SA Live's 2019 Western Heritage Parading Cattle Drive, presented by Los Palapas. Welcome to the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, and we are taking a live look at about 100 beautiful Longhorn cattle being released onto Houston Street. They're going to make their way right through the heart of downtown San Antonio. And the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive is the official kickoff to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Good morning, I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage, and we are coming to you live right here on Houston Street at the corner of Jefferson. And I want you to take a look down here at this wonderful crowd. Hi, everybody, <laughs> are you having a great time? You know, it's looking a little iffy earlier this morning, but the weather is holding out and they are anxious for the parade to start. And of course, this is the official kickoff of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive features more than a dozen decorated wagons dating back to the early 1900s. And of course, beautiful cultural dancing groups and other amazing participants that symbolize the heritage of our great state. The parade route goes through the streets of downtown and ends at historic La Villita, where the inaugural Vaquero cook-off will take place in just a short while. You can expect live music, delicious food, and a competition for the best. Spanish rice, charro beans, carne guisada, and menudo in the Alamo City. The event runs until 8 p.m. It's free, which is awesome and family friendly. Yep, and our Jen Tobias Trusky is live right now at La Villita with a taste of what's going on. Good morning, Jen. What's up? <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, if you're hungry and you love a free family friendly event, come on out here to La Villita. I have Bill Fish. He is a member of the Western Heritage Committee. Look in here, oh my goodness. Now this is what we call cowboy beans and there's so much different flavor. Bill, tell me about these beans. Oh, this is regular pinto beans. Of course, we're cooking with bacon ends and we have jalapenos in here. And of course, rotel with the other good mm -hmm. things. So these really come out good with lots of onions. So we really try to spice these up and the people really seem to enjoy them. And we talk about this tradition, the cowboy breakfast. Now let's let's hear a little bit of the history because that's what we're experiencing today. Um, sure. Yeah. These wagons are representative of what we call now a mobile kitchen. The cowboys were out in the field, they were out in the pastures, they'd be working cattle or they'd be on the cattle drive going up through North Texas mm -hmm. and into Kansas and that area when they went to the places that they would sell the cattle. So this was the cattle drive kitchen. This is mm. where all the cowboys would come and eat the breakfast in the morning. They would have no lunch and then the wagon would go farther north and then they would cook supper for them. So they really only had two meals a day and most of it was beans, bacon, and very little else. And this is Pan de Campo? This is mm -hmm. Pan de Campo. This is an old King Ranch recipe. Mm. Once again, Cowboys would be way out in the field working the cattle in the pasture. Mama Cita wasn't there to make tortillas for them, so this uh -huh. is a fry bread that they would have along with their beans out in the field when they had to cook for about 10 to 12 people would be most of your working fruits. Now, we talked about this earlier. Back in the day, they used water, but today you're getting buttermilk in this well, recipe. Yes, we wanted to make sugar. it special for everyone who's our <laughs> guest today. So we have buttermilk and a little bit of sugar and, of course, cooking with lard or manteca. So it really has a good flavor to it, and I think the people are enjoying it because mm. we're still seeing many, many people oh, coming in for it. Yes, and it's free. Did I mention that? Let's move down and look at our biscuits over here because that's a staple for cowboy breakfast, oh, yes. right? right here, so look at this. Lots and lots of biscuits. And the tell me, way. so tell me about the old time way this here. This is, of course, cooking with what they call Dutch ovens, and there's little, three little feet underneath these ovens, and they put coals underneath, and of course, coals on top. So it's a miniature oven based on fire rather than in the kitchen with you know natural gas or electricity. Got this it. was the only way that they could cook in the field simply because you can't bake in anything other than a Dutch oven out in the field. And this is one of the staples that the cowboys would have out there working cattle or on the cattle drives growing north to, you know, Kansas City, Dodge City. Got Adelaide. it. And so this is all part of the cowboy tradition, and that's why we enjoy doing this at the beginning of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo season. All so, about celebrating the heritage, absolutely. the Western heritage, and you're definitely getting a taste of it out here. Now, the Vaquero Cook-Off kicks off at 1 o'clock today, but this breakfast will go on until noon. So come out and get you some free food, right? Absolutely. All right. We enjoy seeing everyone come out. Back to you guys. Oh, I'm so jealous of all that good food. As soon as the 
biscuits, both of us were like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Somebody go get biscuits for us real quick, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, in just a few minutes, a herd roaming down Houston Street right behind us. Yep, they are on their way. And David Elder is down there on Houston Street right in the middle of it. Hey, hey, David, 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 what's going on? He's going to get mad. All right. Good morning, guys. How's We're it here? going? Yes. David Elder, Max Massey out here. We are walking the old Chisholm Trail. <laughs> but not really. It's uh, downtown San Antonio. And as you can see behind us, we got horses. We got longhorns, all kinds of livestock behind us, super excited. And this is all thanks to the Kimball Cattle Company mm -hmm. and just gorgeous animals. And you can see, I mean, it's a lot of work to get them here. Oh, it's no. a ton of work. It's a, I mean, it's one of the, lo the largest Let's livestock rodeo. parade in the country. <laughs> and you can tell people are excited to be here. This is amazing. This is my first. Uh, this is your first, first time. This is the first time. <laughs> this is your first rodeo. This is the actually. first rodeo. This is, uh, no, this is awesome. I mean, it's amazing. You got to see all the preparation that goes into it. You yeah. see all the excitement on the side of the road. It and is. then to it's even, a lot of work. even be this close to all the longhorns behind us. It's a little, uh, well, it's a little shaky, time. right? What do you when think? When we start slowing down, I'm like, all right, maybe we should speed up a little bit. <laughs> no, it's a lot of fun. And actually, doing this for three years, I'm so glad this year we got Max with us, and especially because we're on Facebook Live right now as well. Mm -hmm. You can go on to SA Live and KSAT 12 Facebook, and you can watch this happening there. Of course, KSAT.com, you can watch on there as well. But just a lot of cool stuff to look mm -hmm. at and a lot of interesting facts. I mean, it's really, really historical, this event, and it kicks off the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, which is a big thing here in San Antonio. Oh, yeah. That's big. That's amazing. And there's events going on all week, starting all Thursday, week. I think? Yeah. Uh, starting Thursday, 14-year PRCA indoor, large indoor rodeo of the year. I mean, this is a huge event. We're also happy to be a part of it this year. And what's better than this? I mean, this is amazing. This is it's, the coolest it's thing almost, <laughs> It's surreal because you see people lining the streets. We're walking this Everyone's way, but excited. you're this way. How's everyone doing this morning? Oh, we got one. Oh, one down. One down. One down. Okay. But he got back up. He we're got back go. up. And we're still going to be walking. You guys, we're going to be here for the rest of the parade, walking with the Longhorns. And that sounds like a really cool documentary on the History Is Channel. It? <laughs> <laughs> walking with the Longhorns. Walking with the Longhorns across San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to toss it over to Jen at La Vieta. And I know that we're actually, we're, no, we're actually going to be handing it back over to Mike and Fiona. This is really just a fun place to be at. Amazing atmosphere. It's okay. Everybody wants to head on over to Jen at La Vita because that's where the good food is right now. Yes. Word of warning to David and Max, just don't stop, okay? Because yeah. there's a lot of cattle behind yeah. you. So. Maintain that pace. It is very cool, though, to think, you know, this is something that's been going on. It was. It's literally living history because this is where all yeah. the cattle always came for years and years and years. All right. Well, like David said, the cattle are on their way and should be arriving soon where we are. We're yeah. going to take a quick break and we'll return with more of the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Stick around, folks.
have got a great crowd. Welcome back to the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Oh, they have been out here. It's kind of an iffy sort of day, but I'll tell you what, boy, this crowd is waiting for these Longhorns. They are heading our direction. They're getting ready to come down Houston Street. They're going to be passing us here in just a couple of minutes. And once again, good morning, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, you know, without a large group of volunteers, whew, the cattle drive would not be possible. And we caught up with two of the main organizers to find out a little bit about its history and what it takes to put on this amazing parade. History on the Western Heritage Parade, which started 12 years ago, um, and it was a idea from the marketing department to have a herd of Longhorns come up Houston Street to kick off basically the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. And I'll tell you the truth, for three years we did that, and we had only 35 head of cattle. On the third year, I went to the show, and I uh, and it was never really true, but I went to the show and. I told them, I said, the city's saying that we need to make this a little bit bigger. And uh, they said, well, and I said, we need to make it a parade. So after three years, we started the parade. Starting out, I worked with Alex, and I, he brought me on as a volunteer because I told him, I says, I received a scholarship when I was in high school from the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. It was such a blessing to my family that we received a scholarship and I wanted to give back. And this is my way of giving back to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo with the scholarship that I received. We have five events that are going on this year. And of course, it starts off at Friday at La Villita with our Vaquero cook-off. From there, it goes on that Saturday morning at nine o'clock with our stampede and our Wrangler breakfast. And then of course, the cattle drive at 11 o'clock. And then at one o'clock starts the Vaquero cook-off, the, the last portion of it along with uh, music and entertainment at La Vita. But it takes a lot to put all of this on. And luckily, we have a team behind us, our committee people that help us as well. Not only do we have a team of committee, but also our staff at the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo. Without them, none of this would be possible. Volunteers are scattered throughout downtown. We have a mile and a half route to cover. So we have crews putting up fencing. We have panels going up for cattle areas, we have the staging area, we have all sorts of things that need to be taken care of in order to get uh, this event to put on. We allow no motorized vehicles or rubber tires on our cattle drive. That being said, you will only see people walking or on horseback. And it's called a heritage, so you will see only heritage people dressed in the authentic 1800s, wagons from way back in the 1800s. So, this is something that you will really enjoy, that your kids can enjoy, seeing a herd of cattle going up Houston Street that was done way back in the 1800s. And the smile that you get, that warm feeling that you have, that you've accomplished such a big thing taking place downtown is quite extraordinary. Come out and join us. And I'll tell you what, all of the volunteers helping out in this are just some of the best people to work with. Putting oh, yeah. this whole thing together and trying to put it on a TV show as well. Right, yeah. making it all happen, a lot of moving yep. parts. Well, if you didn't make it out to the parade route, there's still time to join in on the fun. Stop by La Villita for the inaugural Vaquero Cook-Off this afternoon until 8 o'clock tonight. You can watch a number of teams compete for the best Spanish rice, charro beans, carne guisada, and menudo recipes in the Alamo City. Teams that compete in all four categories will be eligible for the overall grand champion and reserve champion. They're also competing for showmanship, and if you'd like to compete next year or be a judge, visit sarodeo.com slash vaquero. Well, like we said earlier, it takes a team of volunteers to put on such a wonderful parade. Yes, it is, and that's right. And we want to give a huge thank to uh, Las Palapas for being sponsor of the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. And joining us right now is Brad Peak from Las Palapas. And good timing, Brad, because right down there is all the cattle coming. Here they come. So, yep, here they come. <laughs> all right, so what does it mean to Las Palapas to be a part of this rodeo parade? Well, we really like being a part of the heritage and culture of San Antonio, and in San Antonio, uh, that's why we rodeo before we fiesta. And of course, Las Palapas has been a part of the community for so long, and giving back is basically tradition for you guys. Yeah, we've been blessed over the last, uh, I believe it's like 38 years, uh, so it's become our calling to give back to San Antonio, and we really love to contribute back to the community. And a lot of organizations that you're uh, donating to, right? Uh, yes, sir. Right now we're doing a, a program with the 100 Club. We also do uh, Christie's uh, Hope. 
battered women's uh, shelter. Uh, we also do uh, wreaths across America and uh, veterans and angel, soldiers' angels. And very quickly, I want to interrupt, but here they come. Here come the Longhorns. They are the, the Kimball Longhorns as they ride down, march down here through Houston Street, downtown San Antonio. I tell you, this is something that... It, it is just an unbelievable sight, unless you're here seeing it. Oh, uh, yes, the Kimball Longhorns, close to 100 of them making their way down Houston Street. And they are, of course, the stars of the show. Yes, indeed. And there he is, Dr. Kimball himself. He was on SA Live just a couple of days ago. How are you? <laughs> and of course, the uh, the Longhorns originated in uh, in Africa mm -hmm. and were taken into Spain and then moved in here. And there's di you know different kind of varieties of them. A very unique animal because they're the only ones that can have different color patterns yep. and different horn shapes. Mm -hmm. Some are like the, the classic Texas Longhorns, and others a little more a little more straight. But this is that's very cool. And of course. We've got the Pooper Scoopers in behind them. Yes. The unsung heroes. <laughs> yes, the main job of the Scoopers is, of course, scoop. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, uh, very quickly, we were talking about all the different organizations, and, of course, military. You've got some uh, military discounts as well. Yes, we also have military right? uh, discounts for also our first responders, and also even if you're a veteran, you also get a discount at our Las Palapas location, all 14 locations. All right. Well, thank you so much. For more information on Las Palapas, just head to laspalapas.com. All right. We are going to take a quick break here, and we've got one of the color guard that it's coming through as of right now, and... There they are. It is the military color guard sporting, obviously, the stars and stripes of the Texas flag and the San Antonio stock show and rodeo flag. And this is color guard from Fort Sam, Houston. Consists leaders of the command sergeant major Van Autry non-commissioned officer academy. And we want to thank all of them as well as everyone in uniform for your service. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with more from the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive.
and welcome back to the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Of course, this is the official kickoff of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. And, you know, it's also known as the San Antonio Livestock Exposition or SALE. Yes, the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo has grown to one of the largest, most prestigious single events in the city of San Antonio with over 2 million visitors entering the grounds each year. And about $198 million they've donated to organizations uh, for youth, scholarships all over. It is a wonderful, wonderful organization. Right behind us, and you just saw some pictures of them, is the San Antonio Pipes and Drums. The San Antonio Pipes and Drums was formed in 1986 by founder Harold Sutherland, who started playing for more than 50 years ago. They present traditional bad bagpipe band music for the enjoyment of both musicians and audiences, and the kilts they are wearing represent a variety of Irish and Irish tartans. Let's listen in. Ceremony. They played at the uh, UIW commencement ceremony back in 1991, and that's now become a tradition. And for students, you know, that, that's just part of it. They get their yeah. they get their diploma, and you hear the pipes and drums. Yes, yeah, a long-lived tradition ever since. <laughs> All right. Oh yes, we've got. Oh oh, I see them. I see them coming. They're right I behind see us. Them there. Coming. Yeah. <laughs> there they are. Of course. The Bear County Palomino Patrol and Drill Team. They are known for the performance uh, of the San Antonio Rodeo Grand Entry. And at every performance since, the riders wear rhinestone uniforms and the beautiful golden Palomino horses proudly sport sparkling silver saddles. Oh my God, the blouses that they're wearing and those flags and those horses, it doesn't get any prettier than this. It was founded back by Jack Sellers, the Bear County Palomino Patrol back in 1951. Decorated in German silver and weighing as much as 75 pounds, excluding all the accessories. The typical saddle made by flowers who died in the mid 1970s. Ted Flowers of Indiana. And of course, fans love the colorful and exciting Six Flags Over Texas presentation. The Palomino Drill Team was formed in 2003 to ride specifically with the Palomino Patrol in the San Antonio Rodeo. Oh, that's always so. And hearing the, the clip clop mm -hmm. of the hooves coming down Houston Street <laughs> here. It's Again, gorgeous. yes, just either on hooves or wooden wheels. Yep. Entire no rubber tires mm -hmm. at all in this parade mm -hmm. and cattle drive, <laughs> of course. Well, next we have the Fort Sam Houston Military Honors Caisson section. Oh, yes, the Fort Sam Houston Caisson section is one of only two active duty full time caisson units in the U.S. Army. The one most people are familiar with is the Old Guard Caisson Platoon at Arlington National Cemetery. Military funeral that honors and caisson section provides professional military funeral honors to eligible veterans at the Fort Sam Houston area and 58 counties throughout southern Texas. And as we have to say again and can't say enough, mm -hmm. thank you all very, very much for your service. It's, mm -hmm. it is one of those duties that it, it to see it, and if yeah. you're ever out there, it is so beautiful what they do. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, next up, coming down Houston Street. Oh, the Escaramuza Rosas de Castilla. They this were on is a, so beautiful. Yeah, I mean, the dresses that these mm -hmm. young ladies have, and they start at a very, very young age. They were on our show uh, mm -hmm. just the other day, mm -hmm. and of course, they ride side saddle. Yes, you got to try that. Uh -huh. You looked very pretty up there. You really Not did. as pretty as these young ladies. <laughs> <laughs> That's something to definitely get used to, and it takes a lot of training to do that. Yes, these Escaramusa riding groups go back more than 100 years. And in Mexico, where women would ride to soldiers in the war and put on scrimmages and shows as entertainers and to boost morale. 
And along with the parade participation, there are ambassadors who meet and greet dignitaries during their visits to the city of San Antonio. Some of the uh, people that they have met here, uh, former President George Bush, First Lady Laura Bush, President Clinton, President Vicente Fox of Mexico, and Carlos Slim during their visits to San Antonio. And you know, when they were on our show this past week, we learned that it is a family tradition and girls can start learning as early as three years of age. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Wanted to you, get heard his little you heard that from the horse's mouth. Yeah. But those beautiful dresses, mm -hmm. and they also not just, they don't just ride, but you know, have choreographed mm -hmm. movements that they have to do with the horses. And right behind them, of course, coming up, the South San FFA. This is the South San Antonio FFA with two donated wagons from the San Antonio Stockyards Historical Society. They visited SA Live a couple days ago, and we learned that the FFA is more than just farming. The program at South San High School teaches students about technology, science, research, veterinary medicine, in addition to farming. And FFA no longer stands for Future Farmers of America. They've shortened it. They are excited. <laughs> and those old wagons are just beautiful how those things have been restored and historically just like they used to be. Oh, the Huey brands. Oh, just went by. Action Sports Brand for the Western Lifestyle. The Huey Brand mission is to shine a spotlight on the unique lifestyle of Western athletes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And coming up next down Houston Street, I think they're right behind us there. About to, yep, there they go. Now, 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 they're, now they're moving here again. Here they come. Mm -hmm. The Harris Stage Lines are here from Paso Robles, California. These gentle giants, also known as Belgian draft horses, are the main attraction for Harris Stage Lines. If you ever get the chance to visit them in Paso Robles, you can ride a horse, drive a stagecoach, tour the facility, and even throw a party or even a large event. The stagecoach is owned by San Antonio native Stephen Robertson Yerger. And the different types of horse-drawn vehicles were chosen because of the role they played in opening up the American West. The different types of horse-drawn vehicles were chosen because of the role they played, as you mentioned, and all vehicles are available for filming, commercials, promotions, weddings, special events, even funerals, and of course, parades throughout the United States. Yes, those large Belgian horses are gorgeous, gorgeous animals. Just majestic. Mm -hmm. SRY Coaches is headquartered at Harris Stage Lines in Paso Robles, California. They operate their driving and training school where you can learn to drive anything from a single horse to a six-up hitch. And I have, uh, just by seeing, you know, different things on, on television when you, you know, you guys would do that in movies mm -hmm. or some drivers, that is a lot harder than it looks, as you can imagine. And there she is right behind them. You see Miss Rodeo, Texas. Samantha Caden is a 20-year-old native of Lufkin. She's a junior at Tarleton State University studying animal science. In addition to her prize package, Samantha will receive a scholarship sponsored by the San Antonio Livestock Show and Rodeo. She won in the photogenic and appearance categories because they have a lot of subcategories leading up to the announcement of Miss Rodeo Texas and the prestigious category of horsemanship. As the reigning Miss Rodeo Texas, Samantha will be competing in the Miss Rodeo America pageant in Las Vegas, Nevada in conjunction with the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. And it's always great because she rides out there with the American flag at the start of the rodeo all the time. Absolutely fantastic. All right, here we have the Texas Heritage Riders. Oh, yes. Their mission is to promote and preserve the heritage of Western lifestyle and the contribution and impact horses have made to the way we live. And they do this through working relationships with our military, local police organizations, charitable organizations, educating the public and inspiring youth to follow their dreams. And they're riding under the skillful direction of Captain Billy Harris. And I love the outfits they have on, too. It makes you feel exactly what somebody was wearing right here on Houston Street about 150 years ago. Uh, the John Jay High School Council's... They're doing that important job. 
all along the parade route. And here we have some familiar faces, the Thomas Jefferson High School Lassos. Under the direction of Mary Garcia, the Thomas Jefferson Lassos are the only rope and dance team in America. Their distinction later earned them the right to perform for First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt and even inspired a Hollywood movie. And today they can be seen across South Texas in parades, community events, and numerous fundraisers. And most recently they performed on a little show called SA Live. Oh, I know that show. <laughs> I've heard of that. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, here we have the Bear County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard. Bear County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard is part of the mounted unit led by Sheriff Javier Salazar. Hey, Javier, how are you? Good seeing you. And of course, it honors those lost in the line of duty in Bear County and of course across the state of Texas. And of course, the Bear County Sheriff's Mounted Patrol is right behind them. Their ceremonial unit led by Sheriff Salazar and Sheriff's deputies combined of a sergeant, two investigators, and two deputies. And all of the horses are rescues and are named after fallen officers from the Bear County Sheriff's Office. All right, <laughs> the BNS Ranch Whiskey Wagon. Oh, they're, I, they, they're like, they're willing the party in right now. Oh yes. Doesn't known, sound like Western music, right? but we'll go with it. They're known as Bandit or Stacy Wagons. They are a reproduction of the Peddler's Whiskey Wagon built by Bill Williams. And probably one of the most popular wagons in the Old West, and even today. <laughs> yes. Well, they look like they're having a good time. <laughs> by the way, the mule team pulling the wagon, Jasper and Jackson, they're brothers, and they're only one year apart. I hope they don't fight like brothers. <laughs> Rodeo Association is coming up. 31st Annual Holotus Festival Association. The PRCA Rodeo is going to take place in Holotus. The fairgrounds there May 2nd through May the 4th. Oh yes, the first Holotus Carnival was held in 1966 to celebrate the building of the new local post office and was primarily financed by the late John T. Floor, and founder of Floor's Country Store. They are going to be coming up in here in a second. I'll tell you what, we are having a fantastic time here. A lot going on. There they are, and we're going to take a little bit of break, a little bit of a break, and come back with more of the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive.
2015 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. I'll tell you what, Fort Hood First Cavalry Division, they get the prize right now for the uh, enthusiasm. Hooping and hollering out <laughs> yes, there. Yes, yes. Oh, they were, of course, uh, stationed at Fort Hood, Texas, and was established in January of 1972. I love those uniforms going back there and a couple of the mules that are pulling the wagon. <laughs> oh, this is just so wonderful to look at this. It, it, it's like watching a Western movie, but it's live right in front of our... <laughs> they are an all-volunteer unit. And right in behind them, John Jay High School. Big shout-out to them. There. Got some scoopers following yeah. a little bit back there. Well, they probably had some cleaning up to do. That's, mm -hmm. that's true. So they're doing their job. <laughs> As they say, tough job, but somebody's got to yep. do. And, of course, Cattle Drive led off the uh, the show today, mm -hmm. and we had all the uh, Kimball cattle, mm -hmm. those beautiful longhorns. There were about, oh, close to 100 of them mm -hmm. that marched through the streets of downtown. I don't guess you say they marched, but they were just kind of parading through the streets of downtown San Antonio. Plotting. Beautiful, beautiful sight to see. <laughs> yeah. Plotting along. Yes, and of course, yes, the inaugural Vaquero Cook-Off is going on over at La Villita. It's, of course, free and family-friendly. It'll be going on till 8 o'clock tonight. Lots of music, lots of food out there, because Jen Tobias Strusky is also out there live, so we'll be checking in with her in a little bit. And actually, a two-day event out there at the Vaquero Cook-Off. Last night was uh, Spanish rice, and today is beans and menudo mm -hmm. and carne asada. Oh, yes. And if you want to be the grand champ, oh, my yes, goodness. Yes, and, and everyone's so competing with their recipes, so this is going to be some of the best of the best recipes in the Alamo City. And, I mean, you actually have like families competing against each other with the same family recipes. Oh, look at the fun coming down the street. Okay, that is Grupo Folklorico de Bendiciones. Okay. They're going to be coming here uh -huh. in just, just a second. Boy, I wonder if they're going to be dancing the whole time I tell you, down that's the street. A, that's, a, that's a workout. <laughs> it is. <laughs> And once again, we recognize these folks as well because so kind on our show. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be watching them. And there's a whole lot more of the 2019 San Antonio Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. We're going to take a break. <laughs>
Uh, welcome back to the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive live here on Houston Street. And we are right now looking at the South San FFA and the San Antonio Stockyards Historical Society. And this is the South San F S FFA with two donated wagons from the South San, San Antonio Stockyards and Historical Society. Oh, and right behind them is the Charos de Bejar. They're composed of the competing Charo and Chara teams of Bear County. And they compete, of course, in the Chariada, the national sport of Mexico, dressed in traditional clothing. The teams compete in events which maintain the traditional methods of animal husbandry from the Old Southwest. I love the little boy and little girl riding and dressed just oh. like... The grown-up son. Oh, my goodness. That is adorable. Them and their mini-me's. <laughs> they are beautiful. Teams are usually centered around families. It's not unusual to find a team with three or four generations of charros performing. And watching charros and charros compete while they race around the arena is both exciting and beautiful. Well, you know, leading the way, basically, you know, we try and say that it was the Longhorns, <laughs> but, of course, it was... David Elder and Max Massey. Mm -hmm. They had to walk really quickly to keep out in front of those big longhorns out there. And I think they're down by uh, Laviita or perhaps by, uh, oh, we're going to go to uh, Laviita, by the way. But Jen's Jen, got all the food. The food. <laughs> Jen, what's going on? Hey, guys. Yeah, okay, so I'm a little nervous right now because we are way up high. But as you can see here, we are at the end of the route, right by La Villita. So we have uh, the Bear County Mounted Patrol going by here now and the Whiskey Wagon coming up soon. Um, so we're at the tail end of it. And as we mentioned earlier, there's a lot going on at the end of the route because we have the Vaquero Breakfast going on. And then we also have the Vaquero Cook-Up, which will start at one o'clock. So lots going on and it's a really good turnout here. David and, David and Max, are out there somewhere. So we, we do know that um, they're gonna be tasting some food. So coming up here, we have the Helotus, the Helotus uh, Rodeo people coming up here and a big crowd. I have to say, it seems like there's more people here than there were last year at the end of it. Now, again, this event, it's the first of its kind, the Vaquero Cook-Off that's right next to the end here. So. Um, so that's really awesome because there's eight teams that are competing and there's all different things that they're cooking. They're cooking menudo and carne guisada and some charro beans. Yesterday was the rice. So um, so that's really awesome. We have all of that. Um, the Guadalupe County Fair and Rodeo coming up here. Um, so just a few notes on them. The Guadalupe County Fair and Rodeo takes place in Seguin on the second weekend of October. It's the 136th annual Guadalupe County Fair and Rodeo. And you all know the cowboy capital of the world. Bandera. This is the Bandera Pro Rodeo Association uh, with South San FFA. So the Committee of Volunteers is dedicated to increasing enthusiasm about the sport of rodeo, educa education, um, educating young folks about the history of Ford and the Cowboys homage to the great sport. So lots going on here, lots of good history. And again, this is the kickoff to the rodeo. It's all about celebrating our Western heritage and I'm feeling it and I'm so excited. And I have biscuits and gravy and I'm just, I'm full, I'm happy, a little scared too. Back to you guys. She's full, she's happy. Yes. Share with your friends. Hey, yes. look at these folks yes. here, more Charles de Bejar. Yes, we saw the charas go by earlier. These are the charos. Of course, and as we mentioned, uh, they of course compete um, and have teams that are usually centered around families. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, they were putting on quite a show for the folks here with their rope tricks. I love you heard of me said, let's rodeo San Antonio. And that's what this is, the official kickoff of the 2019 San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Oh, and right behind them, cue the cuteness, we've got the high stocking miniatures, <laughs> horses and Shetland ponies. They're of course owned and trained by Robin and Jim Bailey. And they are located uh, just southeast of here in Lavernia. Little horses, they come in all colors. Mini horses and Shetlands go by height requirement. So they're not, not every one of them is like a little pony. 
but they can be called miniature horses or Shetlands. Oh, so a mini horse is considered to be 38 inches or smaller. And a Shetland is typically 42 inches or lower. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They were recently featured, of course, on SA Live. You know that show. And we learned that training for competition can be therapeutic. Yes, uh, because a lot of times if um, a youngster has maybe fallen off a big horse and they may be a little afraid to get back on there, this kind of builds their confidence again, working with these miniature horses and Shetlands. And the trainee must learn horsemanship to compete and during competition aren't allowed to touch their bodies to make them do different tricks. Because they have to go over a, a lot of different obstacles. And because the horse wants to follow them, so they have to make them go over the jumps. Oh. And the different courses. Mm -hmm. And next yes. we have the Bear County Buffalo Soldiers Association. Bear County Buffalo Soldiers Association was organized here in San Antonio in 1999 for the purpose of educating the public of the American history involving the contributions given by American Buffalo Soldiers, the 9th and 10th U.S. Cavalry, the 24th and 25th U.S. Infantry. All right, the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Ranch Rodeo Committee they proudly support working cowboys and Western Heritage with the annual Ranch Rodeo Invitational. And, of course, you got the raffle committee as well. <laughs> They're riding in a carriage donated by the Yellow Rose Carriage Company. This determined and motivated committee chases down every dollar to raise money for the hardworking kids who put in early mornings and late evening hours to nurture and raise their incredible 4-H and FFA animal projects and just part of all of the wonderful volunteers that make this rodeo so special as well as this parade and cattle drive. Oh, now you're looking at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Wildlife Committee Wagon. They have been an official group with the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo for nine years. There are roughly 70 members ranging from 12 to 75 years old. And their focus is to educate the public regarding the seven regions of the great state of Texas and our natural resources. And you can visit the Wildlife Committee at the San Antonio Rodeo Grounds located at the Family Fair. Oh, and here comes the trolley with the past chairman of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. This was used to carry multiple passengers in urban areas. I didn't realize they had horse-drawn trolleys like that. It's being pulled by Jim and Jake. Hello, Jim and Jake. <laughs> and driven by Randy and joined by all of the past chairmen. Oh, the Dennis Moore Buggy Barn. The Buggy Barn Museum has been involved with the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo's Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive for the past six years. This is their, of course, seventh year and third year as wagon train leader. And the Buggy Barn Museum is located up in Blanco. Just go up Highway 281, and it has more than 150 unique buggies, carriages, and wagons. And the Vaquero Cook-Off Wagon, that is the official <laughs> Vaquero Cook-Off Wagon. It is, of course, an inaugural event at La Vita that we've been telling you about. It goes until 8 o'clock tonight. Remember, it's free and family-friendly. Ooh, keep talking about that cookout. We need some of that. Taste yes. testers. I'll tell oh, you yes. what, we're going to take a little bit of a break, and we're going to have a whole lot more coming up after this. Ooh. <laughs>
And welcome back to the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. And that was some of the Taros de Bejar earlier. Boy, he was putting on quite a show. That little guy got down there and was just entertaining the crowd. He's pretty good. <laughs> and <laughs> that was intentional. That, that was intentional, that fall. Yeah. <laughs> it got the crowd going. Well, the uh, the parade and cattle drive has passed right here at Houston and Jefferson, but it is still heading down toward La Villita. And, you know, this is, of course, the official kickoff of the San, San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, which begins this coming Thursday on the 7th. And it wouldn't be possible without the amazing help of about, what, 6,000 volunteers who help out each year. And we sat down with executive director and CEO Cody Davenport to find out what the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo is all about. Okay, so first off, I've got to say, you know, there's no way in a million years that I ever would have accepted this job if you didn't have 6,000 people out there that have your back. Cody started out attending the rodeo like anyone else until one day he was asked to join in. Well, it's an uh, it's all-encompassing journey, I guess. The, fir the first time I came down, I um, just got invited by a buddy to come down and said, hey, you want to come cook fajitas out on the grounds of the rodeo? I'd grown up around coming to the rodeo here and stuff like that, so I actually get to on there, go on the other side and um, be a part of it that first night was a big thrill for me. That was the very first thing, but then we went out and we uh, were involved, my wife and I were involved in the auction committee. And of course, we fell in love with all the activity there, and then from there we formed a group of all of our friends, and we went out and started throwing concerts with a guy by the name of Robert O'Keen, and we'd raise money. And uh, then we'd come back into the auction, we'd spend it on the kids there. And uh, Keith Martin called me in one day in his office and said, you know, we want to put on a barbecue cook-off. You and your buddies think that'd be something that y'all can handle. And of course, I, you know, could never not take on a challenge. So I said, uh, yeah, you know, we can do it. And I walked out of there and immediately uh, had to figure out how I was going to pull this off because I have no idea how to cook a brisket. I'd never done a cook-off before in our life, but we couldn't say no. We just completed it last weekend. They, have had their 23rd uh, cook-off, great success. So it, it's sure fun for me to go and see how far my baby has grown. After working the barbecue cook-off, he was asked to join the executive committee. So I came in there and um, that was my last, uh, my last stop. I became president of the show under the executive committee. And, um, and then one day, you know, kind of still unbelievable, I still have to pinch myself, but they asked if I would be interested in showing up every day to the show. And here I am, showing up every day. It's natural to ask what changes will be made with new leadership, but Cody wants to make sure traditions aren't forgotten. I think it's very important uh, that we understand the, the Western lifestyle and, and the Western culture and, and rodeo in particular, and what we are and what we represent is extremely uh, tradition rich. Our, our, our fans, our, our spectators, everything about us, um, and our volunteers, all, we all believe in tradition, we believe in the good aspects of tradition. So, so when we talk about changes, I always want to emphasize that we hold on to our tradition, we hold on to our roots, and that's who we are and what we are, and that's what makes us strong. However, Cody wants to make sure the rodeo has an eye on reaching those who are new to the rodeo. That being said, uh, there are certainly areas that we have to evolve in. Um, and especially being an urban rodeo, I think a lot of our mission or importance of uh, what I feel our team's mission is, is to outreach and um, let people to the inside, let them experience the Western culture, let them see uh, what attracts us so much to this lifestyle. More than anything, he's eager to kick off the rodeo. I have a hard time sleeping tonight. I'm so excited. I, I literally am, am like, I can't wait. It's exciting. I'm running on drilling right now. I can't wait for all these two million people. Y'all come on, we're ready for you. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Justin. You know, he's talking about all those great traditions yeah. that, that come together and the different heritages. Mm -hmm. And it's so fun because, you know, it mixes with the, the riding styles with all the different foods and everything. But in the end, it's all the kids that really benefit from That's all the scholarships what it's out there. all about. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and we are going to check in right now with David Elder, who's got a different device. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we know we walked all the way down <laughs> to the end of the parade, but now we're here. We're here, and you know you can still feel the excitement in the yeah, air. People are really excited. We got some people over here who are really excited. Y'all excited? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. 
I'm happy they're happy. Come on. All those Longhorns just got, they actually just threw it out of here. Mm -hmm. But we still have a lot more fun and excitement going on. Look at all this. Oh, we got yeah. little ponies coming. Oh, ponies? Come on. We got the ponies coming, but you know what's really exciting? I saw, uh, Max, so, you're missing your food. Mm, we, we did get some biscuits and gravy, and uh, I was waiting for the live shot to continue to eat it. Couldn't wait. I got the I got done. Coffee, though. What is it? Come on, guys. Uh, we're, we're doing going this. We're going to eat that. It's a vaquero cook-off happening right Ooh. now. I love we got to move fast, though. Sam Pete's coming. Oh, we got ponies coming. We got, <laughs> we got ponies coming. <laughs> if I get trampled by something today, it's yeah. not going to be ponies. No, but it's okay. You guys, right here at the end of the parade, though, you can see Jen's actually up there. She's up high. And we're actually over here. We got ponies coming up behind us, but we're going to cut through here. Excuse us, pardon us. How y'all doing? Good, good, good. Doing good, good. We're going to go eat some food. Here we go. And if right here at La Vita, they're having the vaquero cook-off like we talked about. And it is just packed full of delicious food. We're going to try to sneak in through the back here. But You're you guys, leading the way. Lots of really fun and mm -hmm. exciting stuff that was happening oh, earlier. I mean, this saw. is Max's first. First, yeah, program. first parade. Very exciting. I mean, I was just amazed by how many people were out here. I mean, I knew there'd be people lining the streets, but I didn't know how many people. I mean, we saw thousands and thousands of people, all exciting yes. as the Longhorns walked by. How y'all doing? Hi, Mom. Hey, hey we're going to sneak by <laughs> you. Oh, shout out to Mom. Y'all wave, it. we're live. Hi. There you go. Hey. And here we are, we're at La Vieta. We're now inside, just right next to where the end of the parade is. And we got all kinds of people cooking up some delicious food in here. We gotta sniff it out. Use your nose, Max. Use your nose. I'm going that way, it's that way. It's definitely, it's definitely that way. But this is awesome. So this is actually the first Bacchetto cook-off. Really? Yes. Ooh. And it's out here. And this is actually something else that the family can do when they're out here. Well, if the biscuits and gravy are any indication of the food out here, it's delicious. I know, we go. I see some food. Oh, let's I go. See some food. I'm getting excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, we had a long walk this morning. We were out of breath a little bit at points. Yeah. And uh, I mean, we had, you even had a little sweat going on. I did have a little <laughs> bit of a sweat going. <laughs> and I think we earned these meals. There we go. I'm seeing some food. Okay. Is it? We got food over here. Milk and juice and water. Milk okay. Juice Maybe water. afterwards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking. Oh, I see some. Okay. I see, I, some. I see cooking teams. I see them. Oh, here we go. How y'all doing? Doing great. We're live with KSAT 12 SA Live for the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, and we'd love to try your food. It's not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys making, though? We're making charro beans, and that'll be uh, ready for sampling at 2. Um, carne guisada, which will be ready at 4, and menudo, which will be ready at 6. Well, can we, can we get a look here, a little tight shot? Maybe well, we can look at what's going on. A quick preview, yeah. sneak peek? Yeah, give a little sneak peek, show that off. Ooh. Oh, man, so tell me, I know you can't share all your secrets, but that looks like some tasty menudo, but tell me, what, are, what kind of recipe do you use for that? Well, I like to use um, guajillo chilies oh. and uh, roasted garlic. Oh, is that like, that's something different then, right? Just slightly. <laughs> That's slightly different. And y'all are representing, it says U.S. Army on the outside. Is that the group that you're representing? That's correct. Um, we, we're from Fort Hood, and um, this is what we do. We, this is, we cook. This you is cook. amazing. <laughs> you cook for a lot of people. Now, what Now, what y'all got cooking over there? What's uh, happening over there? They are actually um, preparing the carne guisada. Oh. So, it smells phenomenal. They're, they're, yeah. They're breaking it down and all that. It's going to be fantastic. Well, thank you so much for showing off what you got going on over here, sir. Now, what would you eat? Carne guisada, chato beans? Mm, do I have to pick just one? I'm gonna go with carne asada. I want a menudo. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're gonna decide what we're gonna be eating here, but we're gonna hand it back over there to Mike and Fiona because it's just we got we got a lot of decisions to make over here. My mouth is watering. We still got three hours though. Yeah, yeah, David, you better bring some you know biscuits and gravy back to the station for uh, or us the too. Carne asada. Yeah. Which sounds really good. And the, the rice and the beans and <laughs> yeah. And, so, and those two down there in La Vie together. So um. yeah. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> hey, of course, uh, one of the great traditions uh, is when the Longhorns, you know, not only walking down Houston Street here, mm -hmm. but when they pass in front of the Alamo. And here's some video from earlier as those great Kimball Longhorns were going right in front of the Alamo, which could be the last time. Could be the last time, yeah. Because, of course, they have uh, come up with plans to take it back to the original exterior walls of the Alamo and would block off Alamo Street right there. But um, yeah, that's quite a sight mm -hmm. with all those folks out there and Longhorn cattle in front of the Alamo. All right, well, we'll be right back with more on the Western Parade, a Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive in just a few minutes.
Oh, welcome back to, of course, KSAT's coverage of the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Oh, I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. And, you know, so many great traditions mm -hmm. here. And, of course, the rodeo kicking off next week, yep. the 7th through the 24th, and all the, you know, the great things that you know and love. Oh, yes. And so many cool events happening during rodeo this year. But also they added some new things. One is just for the grown-ups. And here's a preview of what you'd expect at Rodeo After Dark. Mm. Rodeo After Dark is it's, it's really just an extension of areas that we've had success in previously. You know, San Antonio is, is a city that gravitates so much towards a, you know, a festival, fiesta type feel. It's, it's ingrained in all of us that grew up here. And this is really just a combination of, of where we have had successes as well as what I would consider a, a San Antonio culture. Um, we all love to go around and listen to blended music and have all the all the late night food in the same manner that we have at Fiesta. And this is just kind of Rodeo's version of that. We're gonna have diverse music playing out there. Uh, we're, we're such a melting pot of cultures in San Antonio and we take, we take pride of that and coming from here. Uh, we have a cantina that's gonna be playing Latin music. Uh, we've got our wine garden and our craft beer garden, which will be acoustical. So you can lay back and enjoy a glass of wine and just have a nice acoustical feel to it. And we've got our standard, our Bud Light tent. Where we'll be sitting uh, smack dab in the middle of our food court. It's actually surrounded on either sides of our, in a horseshoe type formation. And it's just an extension of what's happening within the AT&T Center. So you come down the rodeo grounds and you can kind of get a feel of it all by moving around. We say we're trying to offer something to everybody. Yeah, if you're a music fan, um, you enjoy being out and with the, you know, few thousand of your closest friends in San Antonio on, in one particular tent, well, well, come on, we have this place for you. You know, that it's a great idea because usually it's, you know, going to the Midway and yep. doing all that and seeing what's going on and the exhibits, and then it's the concert at night. Right. But this way, if you don't want to go to the concert, you can still kind of hang around outside. Oh, yeah. And very uh, rideshare friendly. They're Which really, really promoting it. Which is so great. Yep. That is so great. Uber and Lyft and all that. All right, we're going to check in with our Jen Tobias Strusky, who is over around La Vita. I'm not sure if she's going to buy the food. We're going to find out. With another first time event. Hello. <laughs> Hello guys, yes, all right, take a look at these beans here. I've got Sandra. Now you have seen Sandra and her sister going back and forth on SA Live, and today is the day the competition is underway with the sister rivalry. So so what I'm gonna what am I gonna add to your beans? You're here? getting ready to add some seasoning, about four more scoops to that, and we have beans ready to go. Uh, we're ready. for days you know and of course that event is in it's in it's inaugural this year the vaquero cook-off so it's the first time it's going to be going on until eight o'clock tonight right. there's going to be music there's going to be so much food it started last night mm -hmm. with the, the spanish mm -hmm. rice and you can have teams you can go individually if you want to just do you know one of the, the four dishes or right. go for the grand champion i know sandra and her sister they have been i mean the same family recipes mm -hmm. for like their beans but Boy, they're just like, no, mine's oh, yeah. better, mine's and, better. And these recipes are just the best of the yeah. best in the Alamo City from, of course, the beans that we mentioned, the Spanish rice, carne guisada, and menudo. Well, on that note. <laughs> We're going to have a whole lot more coming up and some more great uh, behind the scenes of the 2019. <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone. Well, of course, the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. As you can see, there's so many, you know, horses, mules, and wagons and everything. But you got to say the stars of the show really are the, the ones that lead it off. The Longhorn Cattle. Oh, yes. And you got a chance to learn all about them. Yes, I stopped by Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch to learn all about these gentle giants. We're here at Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, and of course, we're in Texas. And look at what we've got here. We've got some Longhorn, and Tiffany Secting joins me, and with rodeo coming up and everything, I mean, these yep. guys are a Texas staple, right? B D Bubba is definitely a Texas staple. <laughs> Texas Longhorn originate from breeds that were brought over by the Spaniards. And of course, they're known for their long horns. Long horns, not necessarily meat, but they're long horns. Both males and females have the horns. They can reach a, a span, as you can see, of six feet or so. <laughs> they don't, they're, in Bubba's bottom teeth are very pronounced. They don't have top teeth in the front, only only teeth in the on the bottom in the front. Hey, there you go, here 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 you go. Ah. <laughs> so for those people that ask, how many bags of feed should I buy right. extra when they get to the ticket booth, well, I'm just giving him the answer right yeah, there. Yeah, he just downed three of those. Their horns look extremely heavy. And and they with such mass on them, they are heavy, but they're not solid. There, there's actually a bone core in the middle that doesn't go the entire length of the horn, but it attaches to the skull. And then the horn itself is made out of keratin, like our hair and our fingernails are. Oh. And the longhorns, they do very well in Texas mm -hmm. because they don't have a whole lot, like other cattle species that have a whole lot of fat cover on them, they don't get a whole lot of fat cover on them. They're more they're more of a lean. You know, you see Angus and Angus beef, but you don't see like longhorn, longhorn beef, beef. <laughs> because it's it's tough. Right. Because there's not any marbling in the meat itself. Just naturally. Yeah, not just because naturally. they work out a lot or nope. anything. <laughs> no. Nope. And being the Texas longhorn, they're used to this environment and their their bodies are built that way. They don't have a whole lot of fat cover, so they can tolerate our hot Texas summers. Their nose is like our fingerprint, so you can make an a print of it and you can distinguish different ones by their nose print. Oh, I did not know that. Uh -huh. Did not know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're a ruminant animal, so uh -huh. their stomach is in four different compartments. Uh -huh. And so they regurgitate their food. So they'll go and they'll graze and they'll swallow their food like in boluses and big hunks, the, the grass, hay. And then they'll go and they'll they'll ruminate or they'll chew their, you hear chew your yeah, cud? Yeah, chew your cud. <laughs> well, what they do is they, they basically vomit those hunks of those boluses of food up and then they'll sit and they'll chew it because they have top teeth and they have molars on the top and the bottom and they'll sit and they'll chew it up and grind it up swallow it and it goes in the next compartments and it ferments and so that's why they produce that methane gas they belch uh, and that's yeah. what that's from is a fermenting of all of that hay huh. All right, well, be sure to come out here and check out the Longhorns because you can go on safari in your own vehicle and take your time and go right on through and see so many animals. For more information on Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That was interesting. Right? Yeah. All those things you may not know, you know, about the Texas Longhorn. And when they were on the show the other day, mm -hmm. some of the Longhorns, the Kimballs, uh, and the horns are actually warm because of the blood flow yep. in there. Yep, yep, yep. Huh. That's very true. You, okay. see, you listen. I you do listen. sometimes pay attention. <laughs> All right. Well, when we come back, we're going to check in with Jen, who's over at La Vita at the Vaquero Cook-Off. And she's going to show more about that menudo recipe. And she was making beans. I hope they can finish them and bring them yeah. over. Yeah. All right. We'll be back. <laughs>
Welcome back to the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Of course, mm -hmm. everything is passed here yep. on Houston at Jefferson, but there's still a lot going on down at La Vieta. Oh, yes, that's where the inaugural Vaquero cook-off has been happening, and it goes until 8 o'clock tonight. Lots of music, lots of food. Ooh, yeah. And that's where our Jen Tobias Strusky is, and I believe she's making some... Menudo, right? Isn't that your favorite? Yes. Oh Menudo? my goodness. One of them. This smells so good. Mike, I know this is your favorite, so I'm gonna go ahead. Santiago, yes, Santiago, you want me to throw this in here yes, and mix? Yeah, just go ahead and mix it. All right. So all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Yes. So. So Santiago is part of Sandra's team, and you had to make the cut, right, Sandra? He had to. Make yes, that's right. So um, we have uh, a family recipe here that, that belongs to Mr. Luna. Uh, I can't divulge any of the ingredients, but I know <laughs> this is the grand champion right here. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> and so what made his stand out from other people that wanted to be on your team? Um, it's got a rich, rich flavor. Mm, like, uh, I, it's, it's hard for me to describe. I just know that that's the right one and we're going to win. <laughs> that is the award-winning menudo. This is the award-winning menudo right here. And Santiago, we were talking about family and recipes, and, yes, and this goes back... How far? It goes back to my great grandfather. Yeah, he came from San Luis Potosí, and uh, he used to like to go out out there and cook and show us how to do this. And so ever since we were children, we were learning how to cook, you know, Grandpa's recipe. And fortunately, I was able to still remember it and stuff. And so, I love that. Uh, Sandra, you know, asked us to 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 see what, or she heard about it and stuff. And so, therefore, she. You know, we had to go through a competition and uh -huh. stuff, and so now we're here, and so we've got... Uh, <laughs> it made the cut. Uh, well, yes. And, and so and we'll you, see how it's going to happen. You cook for the whole family, right? Oh, it's your thing. You love yeah, doing every, that? Every Sunday, of course. It's, every it's, Sunday. You know, they're my babies, you know. I've got to take care of them. And shout out to my grandpa, because he does the same thing every Sunday, and that is what I love. I'm going to hand this back to you. Okay. It's what I love about food now. Sandra's sister, you remember the rivalry on SA Live. We're going to walk over here and talk to Rachel. She's got a cute outfit. Yes, Rachel. Other than that, I don't know. <laughs> so Rachel, we're coming to you, right. and let's see what you got. So you got to check out this in here. What do, what do we got going here? We have Menudo going on here. Is this the award-winning Menudo? This is the <laughs> award-winning Menudo. Yes, it is. And tell me why. <laughs> because I made it, <laughs> and I have a cute outfit, and I'll pull it off both. <laughs> and I, I heard that that, that hol holster that you're wearing is goes back in the family. Look at this. It does. It's not a gun. It is seasoning. It is seasoning. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is my dad's. So okay. I wear it in his honor with his... Crocodile boots. All right. Well, and that's my good luck charm. Well, good so, luck to you. And you. I love the uh, the spirit here, the competition yeah. that's going on. <laughs> so I'm going to see who wins. We're not going to find out till tonight. So good luck to you. Thank you. Good luck to sister. Good luck to everybody. There's eight teams. Back to you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks so good there, Jen. We're so jealous. And the best part about it is that's all free. So get if you yes. want something to do this afternoon or this evening, oh. head on down there. It's until 8 o'clock tonight over there at La Vieta. Yeah. All right, we'll be back with more from the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive right on KSAT 12 in just a few minutes.
And welcome back to the 2019 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. And we want to thank you so very much for tuning in today. This has been just, once again, so much right. fun. Seeing all the livestock and horses and everybody walking down Houston Street here. Yes, the official kickoff, of course, of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. And we want to thank our official sponsor, Las Palapas. Thank you so much. For more information on them, just head to mylaspalapas.com. And don't forget, uh, the events going on at the Vaquero Cookoff at La Vieta tonight or all day today up through this evening. And then, of course, the rodeo begins Thursday the 7th through the 24th. Oh, yes. And and if you missed some of the action earlier, don't worry because we're going to give you a quick recap right now. We'll see you Monday at 1.